you have a beautiful softness about your your own energy and and uh, and how do you promote that in other people in the shala? Because as you say, there, there sometimes is a sort of a little bit harshness with the Stanger mm-hmm. approach can be a little bit driven. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you foster that feeling of this more meditative practice, a soft, more gentler practice and non-harming to ourselves? Yeah. The one thing is that we, we are avoiding to disturb anyone in the class. So if we talk, we talk very softly yeah. and only for the person who needs the, needs the advice or yeah. information. We try to create the, the peace and medit- medit- meditative uh, environment to the Shala. So walking kind of slowly, softly, not make any noise. Yeah. We don't, if somebody does something wrong, we don't run there and say like, hey, you do something wrong. This is not part of the choice system. Right. We look like, okay, this was, okay, next day we maybe go and correct yeah. something. Yeah. Next day, correct more. So it happens very uh, slowly and gently. And that will create the peaceful environment. Oh, yes. And that's, uh, it's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. And, for and you just witness, you witness, witness the calmness <laughs> spreading. Go there and try to keep the balance. Yeah. It's, sometimes it's hard mind work. Like, okay, you see the person does something weird, like yeah. start to make noise or, yeah. you know, disturb other people. Yeah. And you try to make it like, okay, somehow fix it. Because <laughs> I've seen, yes, I've seen the opposite. I've been in a, in a practice where there's been one or two individuals that have been very say high energy a- mm. and driven and you can see it spreading around the people closer to them so yeah. it's yeah it can be disruptive yeah we have people who come they they be doing some power yoga vinyasa yeah. flow or something they never never done ashtanga but they doesn't want to come to beginners class yeah and because they've been practicing yoga for a long time they're like okay come and come to do your practice, you know, and then come to the beginner's class also. Mm. They come to do their practice and they do all this, you know, asanas and uh, maybe let, just let them to do, just do it, you know, and, you know, it's important that people are happy also. So slowly they start to look around like, I also want to do this, what these other people do. Yeah. And next day they like, they be studying. I want to do the same as others. I don't want to be different. Yeah. So many times we don't have to say anything. Next day they are like, can you say me how to do this? And what this breathing is? Like people breathe with this sound. Yeah. Can you tell me what it is? Like it comes from inside. Yeah. You don't have to go there and like force people to do some yeah. but the church tradition. They will, they will learn it by themselves. They're drawn to it. Yeah, it comes from. Um, is this powerful energy in the Shala. And there's like 30, 40 people practice Ashtanga. And it looks like everyone knows what they do and there's a concentration and this quietness. So, of course, people want to do the same. They want to be part of this, this energy flow.